And I am now delighted to, in, to introduce our very special musical sermon today. So I invite David Srebnik, Sharon Kalis, and Debbie Gelber to deliver a sermon. And um, are you going to mention who wrote it? Stephen Friedman. Stephen Friedman wrote this musical sermon, and we're so lucky to have it today performed by these three. upon which the Ahavarabamod is based. It's used for shacharit and musaf services on Shabbat and at other times as well. This special scale is used in the construction of so many melodies that we know and love. Like Yismechu l'malachu t'cha And sim, sim, sim shalom And the ta'el ibenu The ta'el ibenu And we could go on this way For the rest of the day There are other modes which are used at other times. They are named for the prayers in whose services they're found. Like Magen Avot and Adonai Malach, two modes which are used in the Friday evening service. So the melodies which we sing are not randomly chosen. They must fit into the proper mode for that service. There's more than modes that goes into our synagogue music. Listen to this melody. Does it sound familiar? If you said it's from the evening services at the high holidays, you are right. So in addition to the special modes which are used in certain services, there are melodic themes which are used as well. And then there is the issue of how a melody can be plain or fancy. You can take a prayer and chant it very quickly, like so. Vishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat, l'hasot et ha-shabbat, v'torotam b'rit olam. Or you can take that prayer and tune, and you can embellish it, like so. The Shamiru Bene Israel Et HaShabbat And that is an example of the art of Kazanut Taking a simple tune and making it very fancy 
chanting in addition to using the proper scales and motifs what we can do sir is to sing each word in such a way that its meaning is crystal clear even to those who don't know Hebrew and so if I sing the chatzot zerod the cold shofar. It should be clear that I am singing about horns and about trumpets. And if I sing about Ashamayim Vehaaretz, you can figure out that I was singing about the And that is how a cantor makes the words of the prayers come to life. Synagogue music is also comprised of the compositions of talented cantors and of gifted composers who create, whose creativity has enriched and beautified our worship together. Names like Yossele Rosenblatt, Mordecai Hirschman, Pinchik and Quartin, Zilberts and Lind, Binder and Zulzer, Namberg and Weiser, and Adolf Kochko, representing the old school whose music is so beloved. Then there are the writings. writings. Of modern, modern composers, composers like Max Jelanowski, whose music we are hearing now, and Gershon Kingsley, and Herbert Fromm, and Ben Steinberg, to name just a few. But there is one composer who's due a special mention because of his special contribution of music that is singable, pleasurable, and memorable, whose use has become universal. We're speaking of Israel Goldfarb, Melodies for the Friday evening service are known and loved by all. From And there's also the Kadodi, the Krat Kala, the Meshabat, the Kabla, along with Kidush and Shalom Aleichem, the music of gold farb lives again and again. about the music of prayer, but there's other music that we hear at various times of the year. When we read from the holy books, the Torah, Nevi'im, and Megillot, and we chant these readings with the help of special markings, which 
H O P here in printed copies of the text. These mark the culture marks a nicer as a kind of musical shorthand. They give us the proper melodies by which to sing the words. Now the trope marks never change. They always look the same. In every book of the Bible, but the melodies vary from book to book. And that's a brief description of cantillation. We've only just begun to learn about the music of the synagogue with all of, new, of its nuances, all of its complexities, and all of its beauty. But let's not forget that notwithstanding Nusach, scales and modes and trope marks, the music represents, in the truest sense, the heartfelt yearnings of our people. Yishar <laughs> Kochachem. Thank you all. That was fantastic.